Hi everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and today I am doing a soap using homemade almond milk. Uh, pretty much all of my recipe, uh, instead of water, I use the almond milk. Uh, I used, I called for a 13... 0.3 ounces of water and I used like 12.3 of almond milk cubes I had frozen and the rest I used distilled water for that last ounce so I poured just little by little over the cubes I poured my lye until it was all melted and uh, this is what we've got here I don't know, hopefully you can see that it's a nice creamy color of, uh, I guess you call it by milk. <laughs> um, so for the process for making that, uh, if you saw my quick little video, I didn't go through the whole thing in depth, but I will tell you, I went and bought raw almonds, not blanched. I, they're not toasted, just plain raw almonds. I took one cup of almonds and I soaked them in some filtered water for eight hours. Then I drained the uh, water off, rinsed them, put them in my uh, Ninja mixer, my blender, my Ninja blender, with four cups of filtered water. Blended it all up really, really good. It took a, a few minutes of blending just to make sure everything was broken up. And then I used, um, you can find them on Amazon's where I got mine. Uh, I'm sure you can find them other places, but uh, they sell these nut milk bags. It's a fine mesh bag with a drawstring at the top made for making nut milks. You could also use cheesecloth. Um, but anyway, after I blended my nuts up with the water, um, I poured it into the bag and squeezed all the liquid out into a container and that's your almond milk and I saved half of it to soap with and the other half I let my husband drink and uh, he's used to drinking store-bought almond milk which is a different texture it's thicker maybe sweeter uh, but he did still like this almond milk I think I have to tweak it a little more maybe add a little bit more honey for his liking I thought about also adding some uh, frozen like strawberries and bananas to it and making a smoothie. I'm going to try that I think tomorrow because I'm going to make some more almond milk today. But uh, I'll let you know how that turns out uh, when we come back and do the cut. I'll have made some kind of a smoothie with my almond milk. So anyway, I'm going to share my recipe for this soap. I have not made it before, but it, all the numbers look good on soap calc. So if you want to grab a pen, uh, you can copy this recipe. Um, water or the almond milk. Now you can do 50-50, I imagine. 50% almond milk, 50% distilled water, or you could use 100% almond milk. Um, anyway, it comes 13.3 ounces. Uh, lye was 4.96 ounces. Um, for my oils... Today I'm using uh, 10 and a half ounces of coconut oil, 17 and a half ounces of olive oil. I have one and three quarter ounces of castor oil and one and three quarter ounces of jojoba oil and three and a half ounces of mango butter. So that's my recipe. Um, I'm gonna pour kind of half and half ish. Uh, actually, maybe just, I'm just gonna pour into one of these um, a little bit and I'm coloring it with uh, some aqua pearl. Uh, in, the, in the other portion I'm just adding some sweet rice flour and I've mixed both of those with just a little bit of sweet almond oil. Um, I'm going to fragrance these with a little bit of, I had cucumber and fresh mint fragrance. I had some left so that's what I'm using. I'm going to hand stir that in. Hopefully I can pour it in without anything seizing on me. Um, the last time I used that, it seized my batter, but I think I was soaping a lot hotter than I will be today. So hopefully I won't have an issue with that. Um, so I'm going to use my tall skinny mold from Brambleberry, which I have already lined with my freezer paper. 
so we're going to get started. I can't wait to try this soap eventually once it's cured. Uh, it should be really nice. So let's get started. I put my goggles on. Pop my mixer on there. And I'm going to just, just in case there's any other little bits, I'm going to pour through a strainer. I don't think there's any little bits, but you never know since it's almond milk. Yeah, there is, there is a couple little bits in there. I don't know if you can see, but anyway, always good to pour through a strainer. So we're going to start blending. Burp, 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 burp. We'll see how this turns out. I'm just bringing it to a light trace. And then I'm going to pour some off to color green with that aqua pearl. Just a little. Right there. And I'll pour my rice flour in this half. Like so. Let me hand stir this a little. We'll hit it really quick, each one of these, with the mixer. And then I'm going to hand stir my fragrance. Get some air in there. So there's that one. It's a really pretty color, this aqua pearl. Okay, so I'm going to take that off. Clean that off. off to the side so there's that look at my other spoon and I'm going to bring my mold over hopefully you can see that good so we're going to pour in pretty much all the fragrance into this one just a little into that Like I said, it's a much cooler uh, I'm soaping much cooler than I usually do. Hopefully this turns out really well. I'm going to hit that since it is so fluid. I'm going to hit this. I've got this little bit here. Okay. I'll pop that out. we're good and hopefully I can get a good little swirl going on here it does smell nice that cucumber fragrance so I'm gonna put most of this in like so 
I'm going to move a little fast. I can see this is thickening. And we're going to pour up high. Like so, and down. And top it off with this. Looks like it's riced a little, but that's too late to do anything about that now. Anyway, I'm just trying to scrape my bowl out here best I can with this little, you know what, we'll use the bigger one. Now we're just going to kind of even that out, and then I'm going to bang it down on the floor once or twice or three or four, and we'll do a little bit of texturing. On the top. So let me get this. A little bit of the aqua pearl that was left in here on top. All right. That looks good, I think. And let me see here. Like so. And da -da 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 -da. what am I looking for? Well, I think I'll use the spoon. Boy, see, that's thickened up a lot right away. Thickened and riced on me. That's that. That uh, cucumber fragrance. Yeah, I don't remember it rising before, but I do remember, like I said, I remember it thickening. Anyway. It does smell nice. Just have to know that it's going to do that to you. Okay, so take a little bit. I'm just going to drizzle some of this remainder of this uh, mica and oil, just like that. And we'll go back up this side a little bit, like so. Pretty pretty. And that's it, I think. I don't think I'm going to glitter or anything. I know, I know. Come on, Kathy, hit it with glitter. But I'm not going to. I'm going to refrain. So, that's that. We're going to let it sit for 24 hours. We'll come back. And we'll cut it. And if I remember, I will let you know... How my almond milk turns out with some berries added to it. I can't wait to try. I'm anxious to uh, try that for a smoothie. So anyway, we'll tidy up here, put this to bed, and when we come back, like I said, we'll get it cut. So we'll be right back to cut this beautiful loaf of cucumber and fresh mint with almond milk. Hey everyone, we're back and ready to cut our loaf of almond milk soap. 
And uh, as promised, I thought I'd tell you, I made a little smoothie with our almond milk and actually put uh, frozen peaches in with it. Mmm. And it tastes really good. I stick a spoon in because it's easier for me to drink. And I didn't have any clean glasses. <laughs> I'm doing dishes, so I'm having it in a wine glass. Classy, huh? So anyway, we're going to get to cutting our soap. And uh, just to let you know, when I came down and checked on it, shortly after making it, it had started to volcano just a little bit and you can see like right here so I kind of had textured it up a bit and I put it right into the refrigerator and left it there overnight so I took it out this morning and uh, anyway it looks good now and for those of you who were nagging on my chopper being loose last time it's not it's not loose this time, so you don't have anything to complain about. So, anyway, we'll get to cutting our soap. And uh, we'll start here. And it's just a beautiful golden kind of almondy color, naturally. And that slice. And keep going. Just see the little bit of the uh, aqua pearl in there. And uh, it smells really nice with the cucumber and fresh mint fragrance. There we go. And uh, it looks like a, a wonderful, luxurious bar. I really can't wait to try it out. But of course, that'll be down the road once it cures. And we'll see, we'll see how this cures, whether it uh, lightens or darkens any as we go but uh, I think it turned out pretty cool and uh, like I said I'm, I'm anxious to give it a shot like the last cut like so and we'll bring you in we got nine, nine bars of that. Bring it in for a close up, somewhat not gracefully. So here we go. And uh, like I said, can't wait to give it a try. So again, I'll, I'll share my recipe with you in the box below. Um, so I won't forget to type that in. But this is my cucumber and fresh mint almond milk soap. And uh, I'm going to go finish my little almond milk peach smoothie. And hopefully you guys will have a great day. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.